guys, Christina here. So it's been a long time coming since this video, uh, but today I thought I would um, do an eyeshadow look with purple colors. Um, last week I put a picture up of the organized product set I recently um, got and thought I may as well put them to good use, especially now that it's coming into spring summer here in Hong Kong and still summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So I hope it helps. Um, I've already done my foundation, so I'm just going to put a bit of the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base onto the top of my eyes. Um, I love this because it really, really does make your um, eyeshadow stay throughout the day and that's super, super handy, especially for the summer months um, because it can get quite hot as well as with the high humidity. So it's always very, very handy um, to just add this extra layer on. Um, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. But um, if you are one to have, you know, sweaty eyelids, or if you notice that your eyeshadow does tend to disappear quite easily, then I highly recommend um, the NARS Smudge Proof shadow base which is just like an eye primer so i'm just gonna experiment really so i've got i want to do these two um colors here so i might go with the light start lightly first because purple for some people can be quite intimidating um so i'd rather just build it up first and create Create a look from there. So, as always, load your brush up with your lightest color, which I've gone for quite a lilac y shade. All right, so as usual, if you need to, hold the edge of your eye out and just dab all of that product along the top of your eye. I like to go right up to the base, sorry, the socket of the eye. Mm, I like this color, it's pretty. You could just get away with using this color. Um, so just dab it all the way up to the crease of your eye. Don't worry about it being too perfect because then the handy KTK blending eyeshadow brush comes into play. And what you want to do is just lightly blend all along the outer corner. So you're not going on top of the eye because then obviously it's going to um, disappear. You just want to make sure that it's nicely blending the harsh edges out away from the eye. It just creates a nicer flow and looks more smoother and softer. Anything underneath that has dropped, feel free to take that out. And most of you would know that I never ever conceal under my eyes until I've done any eye work. And that's purely because eyeshadows really do tend to drop underneath. So you don't want to mix that in with your foundation and concealer. So once you've done, finished with your eyes, then you conceal. Right, I quite like the look of that. It's really pretty. Always, as usual, tap off to the top of your hand and then apply exactly the same. So it's just dabbing the product on to the top of your eye, right up to your crease or your socket line. Okay. As per usual, get your blending brush and blend all of that through. Got a little bit excess down the bottom, so I really want to blend that out. So really make sure you blend all of those edges out because your makeup is not finished until that is perfected. Second color, um, like I was saying, you could easily just leave this look as is, but I was going to put in another purple, but I've decided to go with a matte color, which is called Honey Lass, and it's a goldy kind of goldy rosy gold kind of color and I absolutely love it but I just want to put it into the inner corner of my eye 
just to give a little bit more brightness and um, to break up the purple there. So what you would do is you put it in the inner corner. So you just leave it as is, which brings a really nice highlight. Or add a bit more further into your inner corner of your eye and just fade it in. You don't want it to overtake it. And it just gives a little bit more brightness to the area. Oh, I really like that color. All right. <laughs> Add it to the other side. And then as just a little bit, I really just only want a touch of that color in there. Get your trusty blending brush and just blend those colors through. So this could be with any color. You don't have to have these brands, but any color that's with the purples and the pinky kind of rose golds um, look really, really pretty. Okay, um, I think that looks really, really nice. So what I'm going to do quickly is add a liner. If you are not confident with liner, just leave it. Absolutely just leave it, but I just want to add a little bit of a liner, but I'm only going to actually do it with um, shadow because I know a lot of my clients aren't exactly confident with gel liners. So to make it easier, let's just do it with a, just, I've got the KTK brow filler and the darker shadow of this palette here, which is the grey, and then I'm going to use it as my top liner. So, because you don't want too much, always tap it off the top of your hand and just stretch out your lid only because you don't want it to be too jagged. But the cool thing about liner is it's not going to be the perfect one, eyeshadow liner, I should say. So, it can be more of a lived in type of rough looking, smoky um, look. And it's just the slightest amount, just to give a little bit of um, depth to the eye. You don't want to turn it into a smoky eye. Okay. Because this, remember, is you still want it to be nice and fresh. You want it to be, you know, as if you're going out for a brunch or a wedding or if you just feel like wearing beautiful purple tones. You don't want any darkness to take over. So that's probably all I want to do. Make a mistake, don't, don't worry about it. Let's get a trusty condiment and then just, you know, clean up any marks that may, you may not want there. Um, but I think that's looking pretty good so far. So once you're finished, I'm actually not going to put any liner underneath because the pink, oh, the purple, sorry, has dropped nicely underneath my eyes. So I'm going to leave it there um, because I don't like too much liner anyway for day wear. Um, but I think it's quite highlighted it quite nicely. So I'm just going to clean away anything that may have dropped down there. And then just make sure with the cotton bed um, and the cleanser, just clean underneath. Your eyes just so it doesn't interfere with your concealing work. So now I'll go into concealing. As you know, I love the Laura Mercier. Um, so I use SC4 and mix it together. Mix the two sides together with my foundation, which is Charlotte Tilbury number eight. And then I just lightly apply underneath my eyes. I don't need too much concealing work, um, but it's always nice to highlight underneath that eye there. And if you guys have seen, you would have know, you may have seen my concealing video, um, which a lot of you love. So if you haven't seen it, go take a look. Um, probably best to go on my YouTube channel, which is just Christina Tikanoa. And it's all about concealing and how to do it correctly. So again, I always just take it out above 
on top of my eyebrow area, socket area, just to clean up anything that may have um, need a little bit more coverage. And then with your KTK blending foundation blending brush, just dab underneath to cons just to make sure that everything's nicely in place. And just bring it down a little bit as well. Oh, I really, really love purples. Right, so once you're finished with your concealing work, all you need to do is, my brows are actually looking quite okay, so I'm not going to touch them. So for blusher, I'm just going to use a cream-based blusher from MAC. Um, just because it gives a nice glowy, dewy look and also, you know, it's spring, summer, wedding season, event season, so just be nice and fresh looking. Um, I'm going to use, again, the KTK Foundation Blender, so it's super, super um, versatile, this brush. And then, as always, pop it onto the top of your hand just to get the excess off and you can always keep coming back to it. Smile! And then just dab it on to your apples of your cheek. Just work it up. You don't have to go all the way to your ear if you don't want to, but that's just my guide. And if you do go to the to your ear, just go to the middle of your ear. Like guide your brush towards the middle of your ear because you don't want your blush going up here. That's where your highlighters go. I think that gives a nice quite a nice look actually and then just finish off with some lipstick you could put a highlighter on actually I will put a highlighter on I've got the strobe cream from MAC sorry working makeup artist it's quite messy with highlight you just put it to the top at the top of where your blusher lies so again always just tap it on to the top after you've dabbed it onto your face onto your top of your hand you can use your hand if you want just to blend it through is a nice kind of a shine. All right, highlighter done. Lipstick. I'm not one to put a whole heap of for personally for myself to put a whole heap of lip liner on. So I'm just going to go straight into a lipstick. Chosen Charlotte Tilbury KMKW. So just apply to your lip if you feel like you need. A um, brighter lip, go for it. If you feel like you do need a lip liner, absolutely go for it as well. But my whole focus for today was the eyes, so just going to apply quite fast so you can see the result. So I've actually gone back in with a pink color, a pink lipstick from MAC. Sorry, I don't know the name of it because it's got a B on it. Um, because as you know, if you know with MAC, once you um, have about six or seven different empty um, containers from MAC, you can hand it in and you get the free lipstick. So this is a free lipstick and I really like it, but it's got a B on it. I can't tell what it's called. It's got something like Pin Pearl or something. So sorry about that. Um, I can always look for it. I've just used this color just to brighten up my uh, lip a bit. Because um, the Kim, because the Kim to Kardashian one, um, actually made this look look a little bit dull. So there you have it. I hope that's helped. Um, I quite like the purples and I like the glow of the makeup. And yeah, you can wear it any day you like for weddings, events, um, just going out to a brunch, or if you just feel like experimenting. So I hope that helped. Please let me know what you think. If you want me to help you with any other makeup videos or tips and tricks, let me know also. Otherwise, have a wonderful day.